Hey vinyl friends and vinyl community, it's Brian from Brian's Vinyl Records and it is Monday, which means it's time for another installment of Vinyl Editions. A little interesting installment. As everyone knows, we are uh, self-quarantined in our homes these days and um, things are quite different. This week was supposed to be spring break for my wife and my kids and unfortunately we are spending it here at home, which in my case, not a terribly bad thing. But here we are, it's Monday, um, a little bit different uh, world than it was last week. I know I had titled the video last week, Preparing for Quarantine. Well, here we are, and uh, week one is under us, and now we'll head into week two and see where it goes from there. But I did pick up a few things, uh, mostly by mail, and I did get uh, some VCLT, which I'm gonna show in this episode, and I did make one last trip out to my local record store because they were offering curbside pickup and so I wanted to support them and ended up buying a couple albums from them. So let's start here. These came on Monday. This was from a vinyl auction online that I was doing and uh, these came Monday right after I posted my video. So this is Leonard Skinner's Gold and Platinum. So this is pretty cool. This is a 1979 compilation. This was a Columbia House version of it and it's just got some of the greatest songs that they did uh, on it here. So really excited about that. Things on here like uh, Give Me Three Steps, which is always a favorite of mine. Uh, Sweet Home Alabama, Free Bird, of course. That Smell is on here. Simple Man is on here. Tuesday's Gone's on here. So it's got all the big hits from Leonard Skinner. Really enjoy it. And so happy to have this in my collection. Got this for, I think, 10 bucks. Not, not too bad. Uh, good shape, too. The other one I got from that same auction was this one here. This is David Gilmore, About Face. It's a solo album from, I believe, 1984 and uh, pretty good stuff here. There's a couple of songs on here that'll sound very familiar to fans of the Division Bell. I think he reused some of the riffs that he used on here for a couple songs on that as well. So, but uh, very good album, really enjoyed it. Love David Gilmore's stuff, so really getting into that. All right, uh, the last thing I got in mail order, this is from another uh, gentleman who sells rarer things and uh, I buy from him every once in a while when something pops up. This is one that caught my eye. This is Queen's Reich's Rage for Order. Uh, this is my uh, one I haven't heard before, but a buddy on the vinyl community sent me a link to a couple of songs off this record and I really enjoyed them so I thought I'd give this a shot. I'm really excited about it. It's in great shape, just excellent shape all around. Covers in great shape and the vinyl's in excellent shape as well. So happy to have this in my collection as I start to delve into Queen's Right catalog. Let's talk a little VCLT, huh? So I want to thank Dan at Dan's Vinyl Channel. He had reached out to me and asked if I was interested in some singles that he had. He didn't really want to get into the singles world and had some of these lying around. And I said, sure, I like singles as well. And so he sent these my way. These all have a, a common theme. This is Phil Collins and Philip Bailey. And this is Easy Lover. 12 inch single on the other side B side is woman um, yeah so this is pretty cool I listened to all of these already and uh, they all sound great so Phil Collins and Philip Bailey then we have Genesis's mama single and the B side is it's gonna get better so another 12 inch single from Genesis here's another Genesis this one of course I know and everyone should it's tonight 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 the 12 inch single and on here you've got tonight 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 in the glow of the night paper late and then another version a 12 inch remix version of tonight 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 on here as well really good uh, really enjoyed that one a lot and last but not least Genesis is keep it in the dark and this one has keep it in the dark uh, Namin Nanu and Ak Abakab <laughs> lawn version it says uh, so those are the two songs on here. Um, I am not familiar with Genesis's catalog per se. I know their hits obviously, but the rest of it um, never really got into them. So I'm excited when he said he had some of these for me because I know Genesis is a favorite among community members. So happy to have those. Really enjoyed listening to those. All right, and last but not least, I did mention that my local record stores, most of them have closed their doors um, to customers. And uh, that really is, is sad for me. Um, I always uh, like to go um, probably every other weekend to my record stores to kind of pick through what they have and just really enjoy the experience whether I buy something or not. 
and unfortunately that's no longer available to me but one of my local record shops down the valley was offering curbside pickup so they have a lot of the stuff that they have new on their website as well as on discogs and so i kind of thumbed through what they had there and i really wanted to support them so i reached out to scott who is the general manager there and i asked you know hey do you have um puzzles album cover puzzles and stuff like that and so he sent me a picture of all the puzzles they had in stock and I picked two of them and unfortunately someone beat me to one of them but I did pick up the Abbey Road cover uh, puzzle piece it's a thousand piece puzzle so I'm currently working on that um, that's gonna be my uh, kind of outlet this week as I don't I took the week off of work because I was spring break week so we were gonna do something and well, unfortunately the those plans have changed so I have the week off and uh, you know needed something to do so I picked up a Abbey Road Beatles album cover puzzle and I'm working my way through that so that's been fun but then I also picked up a couple albums there um, I finally picked these up because I've been looking at them for a long time and just hadn't pulled the trigger on them decided to go ahead and get it this is Jolene by of course Dolly Parton one of the albums that was sorely missing from my catalog and I was just waiting for a deal on it to happen because I did see them go down in price quite a bit and it's just, it just hasn't been the case so I picked this up this is the um, Sony Music Legacy version of the album so there's a, a MOV pressing available as well and that one's not as in stock as this this one is so I just decided to go with this one and it actually sounds really really good so um, I would I would love to have had the MOV pressing but unfortunately uh, it's not found locally and um, all that stuff so I was happy to pick this up so Dolly Parton Jolene and lastly I picked this up this was missing from my Liz Fair catalog this is Liz Fair's white chocolate space egg a fantastic album have it on CD of course and so I wanted to get this for my vinyl catalog so I believe now I have all the albums that she has on vinyl available she also has a couple albums that aren't currently on vinyl so hopefully we'll see those reissued on vinyl shortly and I can pick those up for my uh, collection as well but just a fantastic artist uh, really really enjoy this fair and happy to have picked this up so happy to have done my part to kind of help them out and I don't know how long they're going to be able to go as we've noticed uh, across the country a lot of uh, cities and states have been uh, issuing stay at home orders for everybody and I know our state is looking into that as well so I'm not sure when or if that's going to happen but if it does, um, I will sadly miss shopping. If you haven't heard the news, uh, Amazon originally had stated that they would um, no longer accept uh, third party records into their warehouses at this time as they're gonna focus on medical supplies and things like that. And also uh, that they would ship whatever they had in stock. Well, now they have changed their position again and now it's the fact that they will not ship uh, anything other than um, any vinyl and CDs are not being shipped out currently and so uh, I did place an order yesterday for an album for another project I'm working on I wanted to get the soundtrack to that uh, a movie that I'm working on for my other podcast and um, it's not going to ship until uh, around the 21st of April apparently even though it's in stock um, they're there they're not going to ship it out until the 21st of April so I looked on a bunch of different albums that I had my eye on on Amazon and again all of them basically said um, shipping the week of the 21st so it looks like uh, almost all my outlets for getting vinyl records are shutting down and unfortunately that is the case so sadly I will not probably have anything to add unless I buy some online uh, stuff that can get to me so we'll see how that goes. So anyway, that's going to do it for this episode of Vinyl Editions. Thank you so much for watching. I hope your quarantines are going well, and I hope you're doing great and staying safe. I hope you haven't lost your job. If you have, I hope this ends soon and you get back into the swing of things. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep spinning vinyl, friends.